Hi, I'm John with Saltana Education Foundation and this is my son Calvin and we stopped on the side of the road because we saw this bright green plant that you can probably see behind us. Uh, today is actually the first day of spring and so it's kind of neat that we saw this because this is one of the first plants that will emerge in the woods after the winter. So as you can see the woods at this time of year are pretty brown but there's one bright green pop of color all around us and this plant is known as skunk cabbage. Skunk cabbage has a unique chemistry and the plant can even produce its own heat allowing it to actually melt snow around it in the late winter or early spring. So if you are an animal you've got it up if you're an animal that eats plants if you are an herbivore right now is a tough time of year for you but if you see this plant you might think that it would be good to eat uh, so if you're not aware this plant has a special survival skill an adaptation that helps make it unattractive to animals that might want to eat it so Calvin what we can do is rip one of these leaves and see what skunk cabbage smells like. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Can you rip one of those big leaves up? Okay. Can you smell it? Skunk cabbage. How does it smell? Does it smell good? Ew, stinky. Stinky. So skunk cabbage is very stinky and that helps keep other animals from eating it since it's the first one of the first plants to emerge in the early spring forest and you can bring it home daddy you can bring it home and teach other people about it so let's not pick any more we'll leave this in case other people are looking for skunk cabbage they can come and find some Despite being called cabbage, skunk cabbage is not edible for people or animals. A few bites would cause your mouth and throat to burn, and if you ate too much of it, it could actually be toxic. Um, but the flowering part of the plant does attract a lot of beneficial insects like bees and butterflies, and for that reason, a lot of gardeners who don't mind the smell of the plant have been known to plant skunk cabbage in their gardens. This is a native plant and it can usually be found in the low-lying areas where a forest and a marsh meet each other at the edges. Oh, so if you're curious to know what skunk cabbage smells like, you can look in the woods in the early spring or maybe just leave a cup of milk out for a few days and smell that and you'll get the same idea. Oh. No thanks.